today I'm going to be going over the three reasons why I made my jump from auto settings in my camera to manual settings. Welcome back everyone, my name is James from Be Viral and Be Remembered Productions and today I'm going to be going over the three reasons why I made my jump from auto settings in my camera to manual settings. So the big difference between manual settings and auto settings is simply that the cameras in auto settings, the camera is going to be making decisions for you, you're not making decisions for the camera. So when I go and film in auto settings, I give up my control to the camera to decide what it thinks is best for image quality versus if I was to make decisions based off of our knowledge of filmmaking. Now these cameras are very smart, but they're also very dumb. They're like computers and calculators. You still need to tell it what to do in order for it to do it right. So reason number one that I made my jump was ISO. So my camera always wanted to shoot the ISO up as much as it can in order for everything in the screen to be bright. I hated this because ISO creates graininess or noise on your image and further decreases the quality of your image. Now you can fix some of this in post editing with noise reduction, but you start to lose sharpness in your image, all your lines will start to kind of blur together in order to get rid of all of the noise. The second reason why I made my move to manual settings is because of auto white balance. I guarantee if you make that jump, you're going to be doing a lot less fixing in post editing because I've noticed with the Sony cameras and other cameras like Canon that your auto white balance is going to make things look yellowish in, in tint to begin with. So to show this difference, I have a camera on auto settings and a camera on manual settings. Both of them are using the same exact lens, same exact Sony a7 III camera. So the big difference you can tell between these two different cameras is that the auto setting camera, all the colors look more dull. The contrast looks dull versus the manual settings that Jake and I controlled and changed the settings to fit the room you have more contrast and the overall quality of the image is just better. So the third and final reason why I made my move was because of creative styles. Auto settings start to limit what you can do because the camera is making decisions for you. So the perfect example for this is a person silhouetted up against a window. So what you can see now is Jake standing in front of a window and the camera's auto settings want to brighten him up as a subject versus the manual settings that show him as a silhouette. This is a style in which the camera does not know and why I like to use manual settings and why I suggest more people should learn to use manual settings because you can create what you want in the image. And at Be Viral and Be Remembered Productions, we always use manual settings because the quality of our image matters most to us. If you enjoy these videos, hit the subscribe button, like this video, and also go to our social medias and follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook.